Ladies and gentlemen, let's try gaming to come video. Let us discuss recent reports of the GeForce GTX 880 specifications. Now, I'd like to point out these are only rumored, but they have been circulating the internet. And if they are true, to say they're impressive is a massive understatement. So, of course, it is using the Maxwell architecture. So, if you're not exactly sure what Maxwell is, you can check the channel or just do a little bit of Googling. So, it is going to be a DirectX 12 ready chip and is going to feature SMM. So, that's Streaming Multiprocessor Maxwell SIMD design. So, single instruction multi um, data. So, it's going to be very similar in basic premise to the GeForce GTX 750 Ti. The difference is going to be more memory and a lot more memory bandwidth and of course many many more SMMs. So, um, so what we're actually getting here is a 20 nm part at least accordingly and it's apparently going to be known as the gm204 it's going to have 7.9 billion transistors and are you ready 3200 cuda cores 200 tm news and indeed is going to be putting up about 5.7 t-flops of single precision floating point performance now interestingly there are a couple of specifications oh that actually let me get out the clock speeds first so accordingly it's going to be running at 900 megahertz boosting to 950 for the gpu and the, me and the memory itself is going to be running at 7.4 now, those all sound specifications that you can understand. By the way, that's going to give you about 238 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Now, the reason I'm not jumping all over these specifications and going into the fact that they are 100% accurate, um, they are being reported on many different websites as being pretty damn precise. Once again, I'm not going to... Uh, call it one way or the other. Now, interestingly enough, the memory capacity has been beefed up. We're going to be seeing 4 gigabytes from 3 from, say, the GTX 780 Ti. So, you know, it, 1 gigabyte extra is certainly going to help, um, not necessarily at, like, 1080p, but 1440 onwards can start to pinch, right? Interestingly, however, the memory bus is only going to be 256-bit. This is actually less than the 780 Ti, which is actually using 384. Now, that means, surpri uh, surprisingly enough, you're actually getting a detriment less of almost 100 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. So you're looking at 336 for the uh, 780 Ti and 238 for the 880. Now, here's where it gets a bit weird, okay? You're looking at more streaming processors. The Tie has 2880, and as I said, the, the 880 has, um, well, 3200, right? So, just a smidgen under, uh, well, there's a reasonable difference there. So, you're actually getting a less texture mapping units, and Surprisingly enough, you're getting less ROPs. Now, here's where it gets a bit confusing on the ROP count, because there are two different figures that are being boasted around the internet. One states that you're getting 32 ROPs. 3-2. Another one that I've seen floating around points that you're going to be getting not 32, instead you're going to be getting 40. But let's even assume that we're seeing 40, that's less ROPs than the 780 Ti. Most curious. I'm not exactly sure on this one because I'm also seeing a wattage of 230. Okay, I can kind of see that. Yes, the Maxwell architecture is more efficient memory-wise, but you also got more memory on there. Of course, memory takes more power. You also got more uh, streamer processors. Plus, in addition to that, you're running them at a slightly higher clock speed, as well as the memory, by the way, at a slightly higher clock speed. 
So, how accurate is it? Well, goodness knows, to be honest with you. If it's fairly accurate, and I wouldn't be surprised if the actual raw performance is roughly in the right neighborhood, then it's going to be a beast. It's basically, if you were to overclock this slightly, you'd be going to be hitting about the, C the 6, I'm sorry, T-flop range. Which, when you consider DX12 is going to be coming um, pretty much, you know, late next year. So let's assume this card and DX12 are all available. There's probably going to be a new revision of it, at least coming by the end of next year. But let's even assume that this card is ready for, you know, DX12. That's going to be ridiculous. It basically means we're looking at 60 flops of computing power on DX12, and that's going to give you the option of games which are just going to look insane. But anyway, um, I'm going to let you guys do a little bit of your own analysis on this one and kind of try and pin the tail on the rumor, if you will. As I said, I'm not reporting this is accurate but they are floating about and so far a lot of the leak specs at least from nvidia's side have actually proved to be relatively correct i mean the 750 ties were fairly accurate the black the gta uh, the titan black were fairly accurate and so on so i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt but i'm certainly not going to call it 100 percent confirmed or anything like that anyway i'm gonna let you guys go so hopefully you've enjoyed the video take care bye for now